Let's get to the final trade of the day. As we begin a fresh trading week, Mike Patton, the head trader at Fender Trading, is at the ready. Mike, what's your play of the day? Thank you, Angie. Thank you, everyone. Uh, my trade of the day is MasterCard. Symbol is M as in Mike, A as in Apple. Um, obviously, we've seen a lot of turmoil in the financial sector, mostly related to banks, uh, usually mid-sized or smaller banks. But I do think that this is a good play in that sector because if there's any problems with people being able to use money, obviously credit cards become a pretty easy solution to that problem. But either way, the company's doing very well. Um, last earnings report was pretty solid. There's good projected future earnings and growth for the company. They will be having an earnings report in 27 days, so we do have to watch what happens there. But basically, if the stock is anywhere between 345 to maybe 365 dollars, it's a good buy, in my opinion. And um, if the stock were to trade down to below 330 a share, I would say that would be reason to consider exiting. But I do think the upside target is really solid. I would say upside anywhere from three uh, to 414 dollars a share or higher. Uh, should be in the uh, cards for the uh, stock going forward. So definitely looking like a good play and uh, hopefully it does work out that way. What are your thoughts, Mike, about the stock market? It's crazy. Um, I mean, it, the, the, I have two opinions about it. Number one, I do think the banking crisis will continue. I don't think there's any easy solution. Um, obviously, the issue is money flow coming out of small to mid-sized banks into larger banks. Maybe the larger banks decided that they don't want more money coming their way. I do think a lot of them would see it that way, that they don't want too much on their books. Um, so they may decide to limit the amount of transfers that can go from smaller or mid-sized banks to their banks. Um, but as far as the markets are concerned, they don't seem to care. Um, they, they do seem to be more bullish and bearish um, at this point. So we'll see how long it lasts. But if we see any more banking problems come up, which I'm pretty certain there will be, they'll probably change its trajectory pretty quickly. So I'll keep my eyes focused uh, as an investor on what's happening in the banking sector first. And as new developments happen there, just look for the outcome, which will probably be more negative going forward. Would you buy the dips in the market? Ooh, um, only in certain things. Like if it's if it's MasterCard, sure. I, I'm comfortable with, with stocks like that. As I mentioned, JP Morgan uh, last time, definitely comfortable with that too. But I'd be very, very cautious about buying dips on anything unless that company will be able to still thrive, even though there might be some other problems. I mean, every stock will probably be negatively affected, but I'd be very careful buying dips at this point unless it's a very solid company that would be a good buy anyway. Always good. Thank you, Mike. Absolutely. Have a good one. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.